If you're a Linux user, chances are pretty good that you like to experiment with different distributions. I mean, there's just so much variety out there, but after a while the process can get a little old. I mean, nobody likes downloading ISO files and then burning it to a USB stick or setting up a VM instance, finally running the distro, only to realize in five minutes that you hate it and start over again. There's got to be an easier way! Well, yeah, of course there is. That's what this video is about. Distrotest.net is a website that does exactly what the name suggests. It lets you test different distros all on the web. Right now, there are 375 different operating systems available with 794 different versions available to try on the website. And that number is only going to grow over time. And the best part is it's all running on QAMU on a Debian hosted server. So you're running Linux on Linux. Well, actually, if you run Linux from your Linux computer on Linux, you're running Linux on Linux from Linux, which I'm sure Exhibit would love, or at least whoever created that meme. The available distros run the gamut from mainstream popular distros like Debian, CentOS, Arch Linux, OpenSUSE, KDE, Neon, and Manjaro, just to name a few. But it also offers a few BSD distributions like FreeBSD, GhostBSD, HardenBSD, and others. To get started, all you need is a browser and a computer capable of running that browser. It worked on every browser I tried, even Safari, which is saying something. Just head to distrotest.net, then click the click to enter button, or watch the little animation. If you've got a distro in mind, select the first letter from the list at the top. If you're not sure what to try, just look around. In our case, we're gonna try out OpenBSD, cause I'm a rule breaker. Now pick whichever version of the distro you chose. If your distro of choice is relatively obscure, you may only have one version available, but most distros have a few versions. Choose your version, then click start. Now, because the server's system resources aren't infinite, you'll probably have to wait a little bit. If you're number one in the queue, this will only be a minute, but if it's a busy day, it may be a little longer. After a while, depending on the browser you're using, either a window will pop up, or the site will change, giving you a message that you can launch a VNC from the browser. You also get the default user and root login details here. Once the system finishes booting in the window, you can log in and use it like normal. Now I found that performance wasn't always the best, and this would kind of vary from distro to distro, but it's enough to, as the site claims, try it before you hate it. Once you're finished, close the VNC window and then close the tab or click the system stop button to give back those precious system resources to the server. And there you go. I hope you weren't planning much for the rest of the day because now you're probably going to end up trying some Linux distros. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.